All right, guys, welcome back. And we need to determine the reactions acting on the smooth uniform bar, which has a mass of 20 kilogram. Uh, so another question about equilibrium, and we're going to start with the free body diagram. But before that, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this content with your friend who might find this useful. And um, let's start with the free body diagram. I'm going to show it on the figure uh, right here. I think it's easier to see the angles and everything. So at point A, we kind of have a fixed support that is limiting the motion both in X and Y. So we call it AX and AY. Let's show our positive side for X and Y here. Uh, so we have the main support at point A. We know we have the weight of this beam, which would be at the center, and we know the mass is 20 kilogram. And if we want to find the weight, we simply have mass times acceleration of gravity. We know G equals to 9.81 meter per square second. And we have kind of a rocker support at point B, which means the only force that we have would be the normal force at point B, and we don't have any moments. So we are good to go to start with everything. Uh, but before that, let's just figure out the angles that we have in this question. I'm going to show it in red. So the first angle is what we have in here. And if we look at this right triangle and over here, we know this will be 90. And one angle is 30, 60, which means this angle is 30, uh, which is coming from 180 minus 90 minus 60. And there is also another angle here, which I'm going to show it in green. Uh, we know the normal force will be perpendicular to that surface, which means this part has to be 60 in order to get that right angle that I'm showing in green. Uh, there is one more angle that we need to figure out, and that would be the angle for the uh, weight which means if this angle is 30, this one has to be 30 degrees as well. Now we have everything ready to move on to our equilibrium equations. Uh, let's start with the moment equation. Uh, we're going to start with the moment about point A, since we have the most unknowns at point A, and we call counterclockwise positive. So for that, we're going to start with the moment of the uh, we're going to use the 2d shortcut that we have for moment and for that we need to break down all the component in x and y and if we do that for uh let's start with the moment of the weight about point a we know it has these two component if we break it down and uh we know that the one that goes through the point a won't make any moment but the other which is perpendicular to the beam can make a moment and we know that force is uh, first of all it's going to make a clockwise moment so we have a negative sign the force is 20.9.81 uh, if we look at this triangle here it will be, be it will be cosine of 30 and the distance will be the half of distance that we have for the beam which is 4 divided by 2 or 2. And the next moment that we have will be the moment of NB. And if you look at the NB, I'm gonna, if I show it, we wanna show it like that. So we'll have another, these two component for NB. Again, the one that passes through the, we won't make any moment. And if we wanna find uh, another missing angle in here, so we know this angle in here is also 30 degrees and if we want to go for, for this right angle that means this is 30 degrees and also the NB that we saw in here this will be 30 degrees too so for finding the uh, this component of NB we simply have uh, again we have a positive moment cosine of 30 degrees and the distance will be simply the two 
uh, the, the length of the beam, which is 4 equals 0. And from here, we can find the first unknown, unknown which is NB. And that would be 98.1. And now we can do our FX and FY. For that, if we go with uh, sum of all forces in X. So we have AX minus NB. And if you want to go for the angle for NB, this will be our X component. And again, we have this right angle for this red one. We know from here to here is 60, which means uh, this part is 30 degrees. So we have minus NB times cosine of 30 degrees equals zero. And we already know NB from the previous part. And we can find AX in here, which will be 85 Newton. And last one, we'll do our FY and simply have AY minus the weight, which is 20.9, uh, 20 times 981. And we have the Y component of NB, which will be NB times this time sine of 30 degrees. equals zero and from here we can find a y which will be 147 and that would be the final answer for this question and i'll see you guys in the next one